What's up, my favorite people, the Grapple Gang, the biggest SpongeBob fans on the planet. I'm Cartoon Cory. You already know that. And here are mistakes in SpongeBob. Hello, me lovely paying customers. Wait a minute. What? Oh no! The circus! First up is season 13's The Big Top Flop, and here's a little secret for you guys. This episode hasn't actually like premiered in Canada or America yet. I got it early, guys, so don't snitch. There's only one mistake, but it is pretty rough, so take a look. Hey, Mr. Krabs, I don't get it. Why are we dressed like this? Uh, because everyone in the circus is sick today, so I'll be... The new ringmaster! Yay! Where's Squidward? Do I have to do this? So as you guys just seen, one big part of this episode is that Patrick wears a sea bear costume, all right? And as we can see early on, there's a white tag on the sea bear costume. It's right here and it's white. Remember this. As eventually we get this scene where Squidward's clown outfit is revealed. And if we take a look at Patrick's sea bear costume, the tag is now colored as the same brown as his fins, which is totally a mistake. At first it was white, but now it looks like this, which is a continuity error. You'd think that this type of stuff just wouldn't happen anymore in modern Spongebob. I mean, it's season 13, but it's 2D animation, mistakes happen. I mean, at least the show is still 2D animated. But anyways, let's head over to another episode. Stay tuned, Grapple Gang, as I'm saving the best mistakes for last. Figaro, Figaro, Figaro. It's so beautiful. Next up, we have Choir Boys from season six. This episode is all about SpongeBob wanting to sing with Squidward. Squidward joins a choir and SpongeBob wants in on the action. But the action I'm here for guys are the sneaky, sneaky mistakes in this episode. Roll the first one. Let's see if you guys can catch it. Ah, looks like a forlorn SpongeBob lying sprawled across the dirt. Oh, what a lovely day for me. <laughs> <laughs> huh? Squidward, my playmate Patrick is away. I am desperate for something to do and someone to play with. Well, I've got no time for the likes of you. This first one is rough. So when SpongeBob lays on the ground and puts his hand on Squidward near the beginning of the episode, um, SpongeBob's hand can be seen clipping through Squidward's tentacles. And this isn't supposed to happen. Anyone who really understands 2D animation especially knows this is not supposed to happen. This is totally an animation glitch as SpongeBob's hand should not just be going through Squidward's tentacles. Like what? Look at how bad that looks, man. It's rough, but we've got more. And this mistake is also pretty bad. Uh, take a look at this one. Gentlemen. That's the most wonderful singing I've ever heard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So at the end, SpongeBob goes off during this performance, okay? It's at the very ending of the episode. And at first we can see that there's this grandma right here on the piano chair, all right? We can see her right here. Now this old lady here should really stay in that spot for all of SpongeBob's performance, right? Well, that's what should happen. But if we watch closely, she randomly just disappears from the shot as we can see here, only to suddenly randomly reappear again afterwards. I mean, I guess she is an old lady, so maybe she had to go use the washroom, but no guys, this was like 100% a mistake. At first they drew her right here, then they forgot to draw her again in this shot, and then she comes back. Very, very funny. And here's one more from this episode, guys. Lots of other episodes coming up with spicy mistakes, but this one's pretty bad. Figaro, 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 Figaro. Stop, stop, stop. I hereby issue you this ticket for reckless frowning and failing to listen to my song. So Oh. 
SpongeBob. I will be late to practice with all of your tomfoolery slowing me down. Did you guys catch that? Yeah. So when Squidward rips off SpongeBob's fake mustache, um, the latter's right arm is just missing. Like, look, guys, I'm zooming in. Where is his right arm? It's gone. I told you guys it was a bad one. And we've got plenty of more, guys. So let's head over to this other episode right here that's filled to the brim with mistakes. Dig a hike, mammal. Subject's emotional state seems to be rising in anger. Eyebrows are now considerably furrowed. I gotta find new subjects who won't mind being observed. Eureka! Hey, that's my line! Next up, we've got two wild mistakes from the episode The Fishbowl from Season 9. Let's get right into them as they're spicy. Mr. Pavlovi, tell SpongeBob to open the door! It's me, Sandy! The experiment is over! I just wanted to observe you acting naturally! I was a monster! I deserve a Z minus! It was the experiment's fault that you were such a jerk! I blame science! Stupid science! Everybody gets an A plus! And as the cream! <laughs> Man, now I really want ice cream. As you guys saw after SpongeBob and Patrick are like stoked to get ice cream, we can see that Sandy is holding a tub of ice cream, all right? Now at first it was green, but eventually if you look, it just changes to pink. I'm doing a side by side, but look, on the left it's green and on the right it's pink, which is a really, really weird continuity mistake. Now, the other one in this episode isn't as bad, but it's still very strange, so you guys don't wanna miss this. Take a look. When a subject is aware of being observed, it can affect his or her actions and create inaccurate data. Hmm. We have to watch really closely, but when the camera zooms in on Sandy when she's reading the book by SpongeBob's house, this window next to her just changes lighting. At first it looks like this, and then it looks like this. Very, very weird, but not as weird as the mistakes in this next episode we're gonna cover. Initiating stage two, collateral damage. <laughs> How was that? Perfect. <sighs> I've said this many times before, but SpongeBob season six has a lot of hit or miss episodes. And one of those episodes that's right in the middle, it's just mid, it ain't bad, it ain't good, is Gullible Pants. This episode does have some good in it, especially the dancing scenes of SpongeBob. So take a look at these really funny clips of SpongeBob dancing. And then it's time for some mistakes. Then we're gonna be exposing some mistakes, all right? Here's the funny clips though first. Come on, let's go. What? You don't wanna miss. What's he doing? He's dancing! Okay, people, just back away slowly. Go SpongeBob, go SpongeBob, look at him dance, he's got the moves. All right, it's time for the mistakes, guys. Let's, let's do the mistakes. 452, 453, 454. Would you like to hear a secret? What kind of secret? See that guy over there? Yes? He wants to be a fry cook, and you're his hero. Me? This is one where you guys really need to pay attention for it to make sense. So, in the opening shot of the Krusty Krab dining area, we can see Incidental 114 right here. And my boy is dressed up in a light blue shirt, looking fresh, Incidental 114. But as the scene progresses moments later, when Mr. Krabs looks at the dining like a periscope, Incidental 114 has completely changed his drip and is now wearing like a brown green shirt. Then things get even more messy as it eventually returns to the light blue shirt and the shot where Incidental 105 first appears. So some major continuity issues here. First dude is wearing a light blue shirt, then dude is wearing like a brown green shirt, and then it goes back to the light blue shirt. Like what? There's another one in this episode that's fairly common in SpongeBob, so you guys should easily be able to catch this one. Roll the footage. If you want the customers to stay, you need to provide some entertainment. Oh, can do, Squidward, can do. Come on, let's go. Ah! 
don't want to miss this. Let's see how SpongeBob's doing as acting manager. What the? SpongeBob dancing like a goofball? And a hey, and a ho, and a hey, and a ho. This one is a classic SpongeBob mistake. So when SpongeBob stops the customers with his awesome dancing, and when Mr. Krabs returns to see the Krusty Krab is ruined, the Chum Bucket, which normally is across the street, as you guys can see in this shot, it's been like this since season one. But in this shot of gullible pants, um, not only is the Chum Bucket, but also the path to the Chum Bucket, they're both missing from across the street, which is totally, totally a mistake. It's a common mistake, but it's totally a mistake. Let's keep it moving though, gang. Lots of spicy mistakes coming up. I'm saving the worst ones for the end. Be thankful I didn't turn you into gelato. <laughs> Good one, boss. Aw, no more patty whips. Up next is a quick mistake from the season 13 episode, The Goob Father. Here are some funny clips really quickly, and then let's get right into the mistake. Your order is ready, Mr. Bass. Whoops. Yet cool and refreshing. <laughs> Fetch me another. <laughs> Keep those patty whips coming, Mrs. Squidward. I'm trying. <laughs> okay, it's time for the mistake. Let's see if you guys can catch it. <laughs> <laughs> Boys, keep your eye open for anything worth sabotaging. Hey, you! Oh, me? Help swirl with extra sprinkles. Coming up, double K swirl and make it snow. <laughs> We've got two mistakes in one scene. So this scene right here where SpongeBob makes an ice cream cone and gives it to somebody, the most obvious mistake is that one of his teeth are yellow for a single frame, okay? That's bad enough. But there's also a little piece of SpongeBob's body that just isn't colored in. It's right here, it's right above his eye. I'm zooming in a ton and circling it, it's right here, and like, yeah, that's not supposed to be there. Also, shout out to my dog. Hey CJ. Like I said though, two mistakes in one, yellow tooth and then that one part that just isn't colored in. My dog, man. I guess he wants to be in the video, eh? Cartoon CJ. Here's a little a picture of my dog, guys. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna head over to another episode. More mistakes. Man, he really wants my attention. You were an alien all the time, and you didn't even tell me. I didn't even know. Yeah, but I got you now. Oh, but it's not you that's got me. It's... It's got me. Let's do one episode from season one. I mean, why not? It's literally the best season of SpongeBob ever. The episode is Sandy's Rocket, and here are some hilarious clips from this episode, and then we're getting into the spicy mistakes. Look how big it is, SpongeBob. It's pretty impressive, all right. Come on. We're just here to spray the windows, Patrick. Wow. How do you think we get inside? We don't. We're just spraying the... This must be the control room. Yeah, just don't touch anything. Look, I'm winning! Patrick, cut that out! Patrick, come on! We can't hang around in here. This is Sandy's big rocket, not some kind of fun house. I think this one starts it! Patrick, what are you doing? I'm the space traveler here, and I happen to know that that particular button is right over here. <laughs> You started the rocket! SpongeBob. All right, let's get into the mistakes. I'm like dying to show you them. Here's the first one. Oh, please, can I go? Can I, can I, huh, please? All right, y'all can ride in the cargo hold if you just- Yeah! Wow, look at that pop gun. Are we gonna go hunting aliens on the moon? Oh, hush, silly. This is for harvesting moon rocks. Well, when you're done playing with rocks, you can use that for some serious alien hunting. So here's the problem, guys. In this scene, Sandy is showing SpongeBob how the net gun works, and she blows on the bubbles coming out of the gun. Here's the issue, though. Sandy's wearing a helmet, so how would she be able to blow on anything? If she exhaled, it would just stay in her air helmet. It wouldn't go into the air. So yeah, this is just a weird mistake, and here's another one. SpongeBob, you don't know the first thing about outer space. 
Now go home and get some shut-eye. And leave your crazy alien notions behind. Oh, hurry up! This ought to do the trick. Hiya, SpongeBob! This one's easy, but when SpongeBob's trying to sleep at nighttime, if we take a look at SpongeBob's house, it's missing a window. Normally, SpongeBob's house looks like this and has this amount of windows, but in this one shot, there's only one, which is, again, totally a mistake. Here's a side-by-side -side of, like, another shot, and just, yeah, totally a mistake. Now, that's gonna do it for today's video, guys, but we ain't done yet. Click this video right here for even worse SpongeBob mistakes, guys. Like, some of the mistakes I cover in here almost got SpongeBob banned. So, click it. Click the video. If you do, I'll cover and bring you your own pet snail, just like Gary. So do it, click the video, and I'll see you guys over there, and we can watch it and hang out together. I love you guys, Grapple Gang. I'm Cartoon Cory, and I'll see you next time. Peace.